Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the North Texas Dynasty here on Pastors Game 2. Week number, game number 10, week number 12. North Texas against the Tulane Green Wave. You got the Mean Green versus the Green Wave. We'll be in New Orleans in the Tulane uh, home, home stadium, I guess. Love the little title here. We meet again. American Conference foes Tulane and North Texas are preparing for a low key. I mean, <laughs> not a low key. A key late season game in New Orleans. We just come off a win last week uh, against two. Uh, what was it? Who were we against? We were against Tulsa last week. This week we will face off against, um, like we said, Tulane. All right, let's uh, take a look at a few things around the league just before we jump in. Um, top stories, probably, I think, is what we want to look at here. Uh, we got the LSU Tigers with the big win over Florida. And LSU, excuse me, protecting their number one status in the league. Uh, a player of the game there at a Michigan State. And there's the Heisman. Heisman, we're not in the mix, but we got Avery Johnson and Caden Salter, USC Miller Moses, Thomas Castellanos, and Garrett Nussmeyer in the, in the Heisman conversation. Uh, and then you've got another player of the game with USC player, wide well, receiver there, Deuce Robinson. That's what you kind of got, man. We, we picked up a few things. I think uh, I'll wait another week or two before we take a look at the award wish list in the bowl projections uh but let's take a look at some of the stats for the season if you will let's see kind of who's doing what here uh let's kind of jump down to national i wonder if they would like give you a quick button for like national and your team i feel like they should make shortcuts for that that'll be nice okay so the top quarterback of the year so far statistically is Miller Moses out of USC 3,328 yards I think that's the guy that's in the running for the Heisman looking pretty good and behind him J Giovanni McCoy uh, coming out of I, I'm not sure what school that is does it say what school it does not say the school it shows the logo you got Nico Marshall and you've got Josh Hoover out of TCU and you've got Tyler Cherry out of Indiana. I'm not, well, I think that's your top five. Did I go to six? One, two, three, four, five, no, five. There you go. Quick look at, oh, Ikaika Ragsdale up and barely leading the league in rushing. He's had a, a big, uh, his last few games have been very good. So also leading the league in touchdowns. Lots of goal line touchdowns for him. Lots of stops on the one yard line that he's capitalizing on. Without having, again, the kind of season he had last year, he's still leading the league, still doing very well. If he can uh, finish this league, uh, finish this season in um, top five position, he would really help his NFL stock. And that would help us if he could get drafted really well. Uh, then we've got Deuce Robinson, top receiver of the league, just by nine yards over Chris Hilton Jr. out of LSU. You got uh, Brandon Buckhalter and uh, Dejan Reynolds all over a thousand yards already all have um, eight touchdowns or more looking pretty good in that one interesting that the average is 97.3 but he still has so many uh, yardage and lastly we'll look at a lot of the defensive stati defensive uh, statistics you know, you got a Notre Dame player Cam Robson playing very well for um for the fighting irish and there you have anthony beavers i think we said his name if i'm if i'm not mistaken did we say his name for something i thought was it maybe it was the heisman maybe it was the player of the week i'm not sure uh jaden mcdonald with virginia tech and then here you have uh what is that is that marshall uh, i forgot what that uh what that symbol is but you got cobb in the mix with the tackles interception wise five interceptions for the uh mccutcheon and Jaden kimball and again these are kind of a look around the league sacks you have wow sean brown with 9.5 sacks so far far and away above uh, anyone else uh on the list so there you go just a quick look at some of the 
players and things happening um, around the league. Very, very interesting stuff. Uh, let's see, what else are we going to do here before we get into the game? I think we'll... Um, there was a part of me that thought about kind of... Uh, nah, like I said, we'll wait until afterwards for that. Okay, so then let's do it. We're going to jump into the game here for Tulane. North Texas in Tulane again. Uh, let's go ahead and change. Let's see, what kind of what kind of jerseys do they have? Okay, current current home option. Oh, they would be in all green. Okay, we'll, we'll do that and we'll do all white. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, this is it. Don't get scared now. It's the UNT Mean Green against Tulane. Let's go. Welcome to Yulman Stadium in New Orleans. Ladies and gentlemen, this football game is getting ready to get started it's the two lane green way versus the unt mean green and two lane burst out of the locker room and they are ready to go flags flying in their hometown here in new orleans as they get ready to face off against the number 11 ranked unt mean green team unt responding after a loss a couple weeks ago beating Tulsa last week in this uh, in decided fashion I want to do the same thing here but Tulane has something to say about it and uh, the fact that UNT is ranked it adds a little extra something to this game as Tulane wants to move up in the rankings with a win so here we go the uh, Lean Green will get the ball first and and they will come out on offense. There's Garrison Sermon, the true freshman quarterback, coming out fast. Very excited. Uh, created a lot of excitement when he joined this team. We expect to say, uh, to say his name a lot more in the future as he's shown that he can do both air and groundwork. There's uh, Kaika Ragsdale, the... In a, uh, about to say the NFL. Uh, maybe he would like that in the future, but the national uh, rushing leader as of this week. Second down and 10 on the 14. Come back to the run. And Ragsdale finds a little more room, but they look like they are waiting for the run right now. Third and seven as the Wow, is getting a little more hype. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They do get the catch, and it's fourth down and two, and we are going to take the chance. We're on it. I know that they, they are playing the run well. We're going to take the chance. See if we can get the two yards that we need. Ooh, does not look like they want us to do it. Ragsdale falls forward and does get the first down. That will move the chains, and that is a big, big play there. This uh, Mean Green has gotten a little bit better at getting the um, first down. Going deep to land his side, down the sideline, and there he is. He's got his man beat going deep. Number 22, touchdown. Landon sides with a deep threat catch for the touchdown, and that is a big play. The play action works. Garrison can throw the ball, has two defenders in his area, but able to put the ball out in front, and Landon sides does the rest, just has to run under it and go get it. And he's too fast for his corner. Great play and great start as the kick is good. And that will quiet down this Tulsa crowd just a little bit. We get ready to do some defensive work. Now, it's been no surprise that this year has been filled with defensive deficiency. We have not played well neither in the past nor the run, although 
We've had a little opportunistic uh, play on the defensive side when it's when it's in the air, um, but the run the run defense has been well. We just gotta call it what it is. It's been atrocious. They're gonna try to run it now. We go over to find our guy, and he gets it on the. 20 yard line picks up about four yards on a little flat pass there it's another run to the outside and the defense is there and will to stop him before he gets going third and six they come out with four receivers I want to just play the defense straight up they want to run it and number 42 when was there to Get to the running back, and that will keep them from getting the first down. Nice job by the defense. I think this might be one of the first times we've gone three and out on the first drive this season. And the kick is up. Yes, there's that. Oh, tried to get to the left there, but couldn't do it. All right, so first down and 10 on the 44-yard line. UNT has the ball. Shotgun formation. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, David. And he makes the catch. And I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. That's a nine-yard pickup. Second and one. Looking for a crease to the left. Ooh. Ragsdale throws the man on the ground, was not interested in uh, going down at all. Nice play by Ragsdale. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. Couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. To the air on first down. There's a catch to DT Sheffield on a short slant. And they make that one work. Garrison Sermon complete on his first four passes. Looking pretty good here. Now second and one. And there's, there's Ragsdale breaking one set of ankles and gets to the outside almost. We get a first down. The offense coming out running pretty smoothly here. There's a play action. Going up and there it is. And that is to the tight end. And that's a touchdown. Number 83. Uh, he's got one of those names that's hard for me to say. We're going to call him Big A. The tight end. And a good, good drive there. And, well, the only we know who the we know who the Mean Green fans are. But there's a throw a little bit on the run. The tight end is open. Lands right in the bread basket, as they would say. And that is a, well, that's a touchdown. It's a little behind him. They'll try to add but this offense is off to a great start. And the defense. 14 to 0. UNT. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio, Kevin. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Ohio State is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the boys of the There he is, a little kick return. He gets to the 18 yard line. Okay, well, the defense played well last time. They tried to get some things going in the air. And here's another play. This runs right up the middle, and we're there to uh, stop him after a three yard gain. Set the tone, stay balanced. First down, and there's ooh, nice play by number 17. Starling was right on top of the play on the bubble screen. They get the completion, but they lose some yards. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. At the end of the first quarter, score 14 to 0, and UNT couldn't ask for a better start. So they get ready to face, as they face off rather, against this uh, Tulane Green Wave team. 
the green wave out in their blue shirts today. It's third and nine. Oh, and they try to run it up the middle and we're there for it. No, no bueno. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly. And the defense playing well today against this team. That's a nice punt. Landon size has room. Uh-oh. He got he has the speed. He can outrun. Going to try to shake through. Oh, he spins and he gives the offense an amazing field, uh, uh, field position. Ball down on the 17-yard line. Landon size with a huge punt return. Again, one of the, one of the best uh, returns we've seen all year. And there's Ragsdale looking for space. He gets three yards. To put the hammer down and get a three possession down. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your. There's the catch. That one goes to number 17. They'll get it down to the eight yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Tight quarters deep in the red Third and zone. One. Ragsdale breaks a tackle and still gets the first down. It was third and one. Eleven yard, uh, six yard line. First down and they come up and they are ready for the run that time. No yards or no, yeah, no game. There's a run and Ragsdale with yet another I think Ragsdale leads the league in touchdown rushing touchdowns. I think that's going to give him number 15, if we're not mistaken. And his numbers are starting to creep up there. If he can have a couple, couple really good games. It can start looking similar to last year. It'll look They'll different, though. He started out fast last year and slowed down. This time, he started out slow and trying to gain momentum at the end of the season, potentially, depending on how, how this thing rolls out. He'll have a lot of opportunity today with a 21-point lead. If, uh, if we get another stop and... If we get another stop and then another score, then a 28 to 0 lead would mean a lot of run opportunity in the second half. And he can show up pretty big. And they throw it quickly to the outside for an eight yard gain. What didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point. a direct snap, and we're there for it. No yard gain. Third and two. There's the throw, and they do get the first down. The player catches it after taking the contact and holds on to it. Nice job by the receiver. That ball in the receiver uh, and the defender get there at just the right time. Still holds on to it. Gonna come out quickly. You gotta play more aggressive. Take away those slants and those quick routes. Lost the throw on first down. That's another grab, and he gets another catch. The short catches are starting to work a little bit as Tulane gets into a little groove. They throw it quickly. Oh, and that bubble screen. We were there for a second, but took the wrong side. And the player was able to get a few yards and get the first. Yeah, that's a two-minute warning. Tulane thinking and ducking so far right now. Oh, and that's another catch. And the defender was there. This time they were there in the middle. But uh, couldn't, couldn't get their hands on the ball. 
Looking for one mistake here. They keep attacking through the air. Fires to the and they keep catching them on the short passes. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism. He's very difficult to cover one on one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Thompson wants to throw. Quarterback looking to find room. Oh, he gets it, squeezes it through. Nice play, and that's a touchdown. A great play by the Tulane offense. Number 12, quarterback sneaks it into the pocket there, and he comes up and breaks a few tackles, and he's in for the touchdown. That's a nice play. Let's see if we can get a replay of it. Tulane fans are excited. Here's the replay. Sydney and Banasor. There's a throw, throws it, wow, in between basically three. And number 12 stays up and a terrible tackle attempt by number 18. And a, uh, a touchdown for, for Tulane. That's got to look a little bit better if you're a Green Wave fan. 6 to 21 is much better than 21 to 0. And that will uh, inspire just a little optimism from the team. UNT has about 90 seconds or to get the ball in the end zone. They've had two big play, a couple big plays. And so there is big playability. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. And it's intercepted. The linebacker gets his hands up and Quarterback throws the ball way too low. You got to throw the ball up in the air a little bit, and that's going to give this team another shot. Second and ten. Pass is caught. Defender can't get over there in time. Safe. Hey, there's a sack. Quarterback's brought down by number 15. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping to run fakes. Second and 15 now. Rushers, Let's take a look at this. That's a. Gosh, I got. I didn't. I don't know how to say these names. Valia? No, 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 Valia. Bailey? They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive. All right, here on let's, uh, Thompson the throw. There's a tackle the right there. They call timeout. There's a shot at Emily. Third and eight. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Pass is broken up. Nice job by the defense. And they are going to have to kick the field goal. Let's see if we can get in here and get the block. We don't, but the kick is right down the middle. Is good. Too lame. Gets a quick 10 and 0 run there. And now it's a 21 to 10 game. And. And feel, ne feel nearly as lopsided as it did just a few minutes ago. Number 45 brings the ball out and ends up on the eight yard line. I really want to go deep. To score a touchdown or get going deep a oh we can't get there the pass is overthrown man this quarterback is living dangerously right now obviously he threw a pick on the last drive he's trying to complete that throw but the defender gets a hand on it tips it up in the air that's oh no that is an oh no situation we're lucky that one hit the ground he's gonna run it 
Runs it, and there's a timeout now. Garrison Sermon thought maybe he could get it on the ground here. And so now third and six. There it is. There's Lennon. He's going to be too fast for him. We already know this. They can't catch him. It's the second big play of the day. Touchdown for number 22. Lennon sides. And they strike from the, I don't know, what was that? The 14 yard line. There's a big play. Two big plays by Lennon sides. Now that looks like it might have been the eight yard line, but he is wide open. He finds him, and once he's behind the defense, it's one of the fastest players in the league right now. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the kick is up and it's good, and that's going to be 28 to 10 with about 18 seconds left here in the first half. And Clemson taking it to number 13, North Carolina. Clemson, 24 points, North Carolina, zero. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their company. 18 seconds, and they may run it here. Yeah, I had a feeling they might. And we're there for it. Yeah, when you're losing, obviously everything gets tight. Everything becomes more critical. 14 seconds. They got it. They got to go for it deep at some point. Trying to get to the quarterback. They have to throw the ball away. We were getting there. Ten seconds left. I'm gonna call it audible there. Trying to get to the quarterback. Oh, can't get there. He's got to throw the ball away now. And it's four, four seconds left. And this is it. This will be the last play of the half. Do not give up the stuff here, fellas. Four seconds. Four seconds. Let's go. All right, they get them underneath and they go out of bounds. The end of the first half scores 28, 28 to 10. Player spotlight so far, Landon Sides just had three targets, two catches, 162 yards. Both catches has been housed. Two touchdowns for this player here. Landon could be in for a big game. He had a big game around this time last year. But it really propelled him. He was into the season as uh, one of the top receivers. In fact, I think he got the reward for the best receiver of the league. And look at him, just stretching out. He's out of there. This was a good play right here. He had plenty of time, no pressure at all. Throws it to his guy, and mm, the broken tackle. He runs up and gets a touchdown. Nice job by that one. For that receiver to uh, give them some momentum. All right, kickoff for the second half it begins. Tulane's going to get the ball. Let's get it. Here he comes from inside Ooh. his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right no, now. No, sir. And, and we're there. Like this Not a quick bubble screen, and we are there to cover it. So much more, and if you look the other side, the defense, they had to get much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively, and you know now, based on how this defense is Wide open across the middle. Nice job, number 12. No, number 82. 82 or 89. I don't know what the number it is. 85. It's a good play. They got the play action. There he is on the defense. Uh, quarterback tries to get away with an option. Oh, and it's intercepted this time. Number 23 is there to jump the route and get the interception. 
Let's go, Tulane, man. He, the quarterback thought he had it there, threw it. They've been making some great catches today. Uh, a lot of catches uh, while they've been covered, but this time, number 23 is able to jump in front of it. Xavion Bryce is able to jump in front and get the catch. Nice job by, uh, by the defense. Now it's 28 to 10 with... Six minutes left in the third. Ball on the 46. He's looking to throw it. Moves around to clear. He's got room. He was Sermon to is going to move to get out of bounds. And picks up about four yards. This is not looking good here. See if the offensive block can give us some love. They do. And third and inches. I didn't think that was going to get very much. We decided to run it up the middle anyway. And we find a few yards. Now it is third and inches. Right. There he is. He gets in and could have kept going to the left, but it's all right. We end up with the first down. Mm, this looks like a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. That they can run the football on third downs when they need to. They show you right there. They got some balance. Oh, Sermon's got really room. They they Slide down. He's got too many players right there, but he does get the first. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. North Texas really has it going on offense. Now they're going to throw it. And another one yard game. They were coming in quickly. Quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Here comes the offense on second. Got three blockers on three defenders there. Let's see if they take on the challenge. The run from the shotgun. They do. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Third and ten. Getting some heat. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Uh, um, do we want the field goal here? I don't know how good our kicker is. Okay, 86 power. Uh, this is his within range. Okay, so we're gonna try it. And the kick is up, and it is good, a good kick. And we're able to get the score. And I think it will move us into a three touchdown lead. 31 to 10, yes. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. Kick is up. Fielded in the end zone. It's Evans. Ooh, throw him out of bounds there. All right, so what we got here? What's the plan? And come out with what looks like a uh, I form. Mm. And the back has nowhere to go, picks up two yards. Good defense right there. Nice play right there as well, coming off the edge to get to the running back. Third and eight. Pass is called. Nice catch. Nice throw. Tight end breaks one tackle, but gets enough for the first down. And so the chains move and the defense will come out. Another series. They run the ball. They're looking for space and nothing in the middle. He picks up no gain. That's the end of the third quarter. That one came by, went by That's pretty the quickly. The 31 Let's to 10. The and the fourth quarter is coming. Is Jackson State, number 17. See them there. They're uh, in the mix of a top 25. Thompson. 
Jackson wants to throw. Throwing it underneath. They find a tight end quickly in this third and five. Trying to get to the quarterback. We couldn't get there, and he won't go down. Number 12 again. This time he gets our best corner on him, and he's still not able to go down. We did shade underneath and was hoping to get to the quarterback, but we got there, but he threw it well under pressure and a broken tackle and goes to the house. Sydney Mbonasor. There's a throw. Catch, yes. He's behind that corner who's a pretty fast guy, but, you know, technique can beat speed a little bit. He'll try to tack on one more. And, with the extra and the kick is up and it's good. All right, so down by two touchdowns. Tulane will kick the ball. And I think we can expect to see a healthy amount of run on his feet there. All right, so, all right, Ragsdale, it's, uh, it's your world. Feels like we should run this. Oh, we can't do it. Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area. They needed to be a little bit more. Nine yard game. Gosh, felt like we left some on the table there. We have some pretty, a pretty good. Uh, Let's see if they can punch it in for six this time. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I tell you what, felt like we had a pretty good blocking. Uh, exactly what you want to do. Lean on these caravan. Is that what you, what you want to call it? We'll take the first down. Never don't call that play that much. Shotgun toss, halfback toss, but it was enough to get the first. Six minutes left. We did get the first down. Ragsdale, doesn't get much. They are looking for the run. Looking for the run, and we only pick up one yard there. We've got to throw it. He's got the room. Harrison with the first down. North Texas really has it going on offense. Four minutes left. That shows a lot of poise and a lot of experience. Coming back to Ragsdale, going to run to the left. See if we get some room. Mm, breaks a tackle, but slows down and is brought down. He loses a yard. Play action. Going deep. And it was out of reach. We'll call timeout because I accidentally uh, called a um, no huddle there. Third and 11. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody say his name. By himself. He's. Got it, and he holds on. Nice catch by number 22. He's got 207 catching yards, receiving yards today. And now it's just under three minutes left. They're going to come out in shotgun. Looking for... Oh, man. Oh, I accidentally hit that. I, I just tapped it. Yeah, agreed. Second and goal now on the 10 yard line. Hand off to Ragsdale, breaks one and gets a couple yards. Third and goal, two minutes and 20 seconds left. Man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. 
And a throw. With fourth and goal, we're going to go ahead and... I thought we had time out. The pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls in. Gonna run it. Evans will get in for the end zone. Touchdown. Thirty-seven to seventeen. And how about this all? It's a big situation on fourth and goal. They hand the ball off to is it Zach Evans? Yeah, Zach Evans. And he has room. Zach Evans hopes that next year will be his big year. Kaika Ragsdale has retained his starting role in this season. He won't have Ragsdale to compete with, but we've got some young talent coming in. Uh, we're red shirted this year, a young man named. Uh, last name Powers, and that's exactly what we expect to see from him is power. He's a strong running back, has some decent speed. Could be pretty interesting to see what he does. But first, we got to finish this season and this game. And there's a catch, and he's dropped. It's a three-yard gain, and Tulane will have to call. No, that's a two-minute warning. Second down. So, all right, we'll give him, we'll give him the underneath. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Threw it to the outside. We played, we played inside, and uh, that hurt us. Wide open again. That's all right. We will continue to let them move the ball. One minute and 38 seconds left. The seconds left ticking. Uh, Tulane with two timeouts. And they're going to get it a touchdown to number 83. And this defense, man, Coach Bo has to be, if you've seen any of his Green Bay history, you know that the defense is a calling call for him as a coach, but not this season. He is going to have to find a way to get some players who will be willing to get out here. Ooh, and that ball goes out of bounds. Didn't call the onside kick team. It's an illegal procedure. You know, the field's about 53 yards wide. Got to kick it between those 53 yards or else the drive will start on the floor. First and 10 on the 50. They'll run the ball. The clock There's Ragsdale. He gets a little run. He gets up to the nine-yard line. Or, or rather, gets a nine-yard gain. They call timeout. Uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their Second and one. One more yard on this second down might just put an exclamation point on this one. They go right back. To There's Ragsdale. He's out and he's open. He's out in the open field and it's a tech. Oh no! He tossed it back. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to celebrate and and we do a toss. Oh no! Look, look. They call. It, they think I scored. Oh, and there's a hit. Wow. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. Thompson lost the throw. Fires to the wide out. Right on the body to the outside. He dragged the All right, with one timeout left, Tulane wants to make this a respectable score, at least. This situation you dreamed of in the backyard, but now it's for real. One last chance late in the game. Wow, there's a hit over the middle, and... Man, it'd be nice if we had good defense, if we had just a secondary who paid attention. 
and they're going to spike the ball. 49 seconds left. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Shoots it to the left. Wide open, and there's 87. seconds left and they spike it all right so what we're we gonna do here offense gets set for second down he's looking to throw into the end zone and it's a touchdown. Nice pass to the corner of the end zone. Tried to get over there and could not do it. Nice pass. Nice touchdown grab. Trevor Evans, number 39. Quarterback is wide, has no pressure, and he throws it right over. We tried to get over there, and we couldn't do it. And that was 31 seconds left. Two lane. Trying to get back into this game, and they are. They're only down by one touchdown. And the, uh, the tragic Ragsdale play where he fumbles the ball on the one yard line. Good. Nope, and that is a. That's going to do it. The timeouts are done. And the game will be over. North Texas, 38 to 31. We're able to get this win here in New Orleans. Game was not nearly as close as the score indicates. There's the big man of the day, Landon Sides, with 207 catch, seven yards on three catches. Played extremely well, able to get behind the defense. Uh, I, I got to figure out which button is the button for dancing because I clearly just tossed the ball and I thought I, got, I thought I was going to like skip in or something like that. Uh, maybe I should look at that. That would have been tragic if we lost the game um, for that reason. All right, little look at the stats here. North Texas, uh, Garrison Sermon only threw 13 passes, three touchdowns though, threw for 360, 260 yards. Uh, rushing, we have Ragsdale with 99 yards. Um, I think he would have had more than that <laughs> if he didn't just throw the ball away. There's Garrison Sermon, he has some yards as well. And of course you see very few receivers. Uh, we did get an interception this game, and that was with Xavier Bryce. And we had a few, you know, we had a few tackles for loss, so those weren't too bad. And then Nelson and B.J. Allen and Bryce are the ones who lead the lead, uh, lead the team in uh, in tackles this week. And there you go. We get the win and move up just a little bit more. Go ahead and move to the next week. See if we get some commitments. We need a few. Okay, we do. We get a right tackle commitment. Matthew Beard. And that is it. Oh no, we lost a few here. We lost a few. Mm, let's take a look back here real quick. Um, we lost. The free safety Hogue. Oh, man. Mm, we really wanted him. Larry Strong uh, would have been nice to get him as well. We lost him. Oregon lost the other free safety. And the strong safety. And the halfback. Gosh. Mm. Dang it. Well, all right. Well. Landon Sides, player of the week for the conference. Had a pretty good game. And we're facing off against Memphis now. Hmm. Tough. All right, let's go back to the recruiting and see what we got here. All right, so Matthew Beard, we did get him, so that's helpful. 
Ah, oh, man, I cannot believe that. Didn't have him. Didn't get him. Didn't get him. Let's go ahead and take some guys off of the list. All right, so we're left with this. Let's see. Let's see. Do we move up? We got to the third spot for Crouch. This is a guy that we really, really do want. Uh, want to come through. Let's see if we can go ahead and schedule a visit for him. It's only one visit left to schedule. Well, you can do proximity at home or championship contender. We'll do championship contender. And we sent the house, so we'll eliminate that. And this time, let's do a hard sell. What do we have for you? Okay, we're gonna go with this. All right, what about you? Early, we still still look pretty good with you. Okay, now we definitely need this strong safety. We're gonna go ahead and send the house for you because we need we need that strong safety. Let's see, you look pretty good. Um, that looks good, that looks good, that looks... Free safety, we need you as well. Um, let's get rid of this. And, oh, we don't have, to, we can't do a soft sell yet. Okay, so we'll, yeah, we'll keep that then. That's the tight end that we were looking for. Okay, that looks good. Uh, cornerback. What, what was the what kind of cornerback do we what are we dealing with here? Uh, man coverage is seventy. Speed is eighty four. Mm, we may have to move him to the safety. Sixty three. Hmm. Yeah, we may if we get him, we may move him. Some action on you as well. Okay, need to finish scouting this guy. And the speed is no go. We may we may just go ahead and eliminate you. Ooh, lots of work to do here. Uh, Alright, gonna take this off. Take this off. And at the hard sell, or what's that? I think I think those three greens. I think we have those in a set. Let me see. There they are. Okay. Oh, do we not do it? Oh, we can't use that one. Got it. Okay, so we'll have to go with this one. Okay. Uh, quarterback. Four star. Not overly concerned about that. Corner. Is this a guy we like? Change of direction, 85. Zone is 74. Hmm. Yeah, we can we can we can work with him. I'm gonna go with 25 here. Oh, he's already got the house. Okay. Uh, what else? Pull back. Right in. We're top, but he's not. They're not ready to make. Ooh, this person is ready to make a decision. Um. in the house for you we're down to 10 points this guy's in the top three and we're not in his top three this guy's in his top three okay so let's look at the uh top five so they're in the top three in the top 
top five. So I'm wondering if we should, I'm going to take 25 from here. And not in this top five, look for those. Okay. Top three, 50. Okay. Top three, 50. Okay. Top three, 35. Let's, um, you know what? Let's just, what's in the house there. And this guy's just strong safeties in his top three as well. We haven't scouted him at all. Don't know how good he is, but he has a second. So I wonder if there's, wonder if there's some points we can uh, get away from. Okay, we can we can probably take these points. Who's the last one, I believe? Yeah. Please allow us to. We need to get to 50 points, actually. So let's uh, we go back here. See if I can find 15, not points, hours. 15 hours somewhere. 25. Uh, also, not near decision time. So we're going to take your points. Add 10 there. All right, there we go. And we'll go to top five. And it's in the house. All right, that'll do it, man. Okay, man, I hate that. Good win, but hate that we got the the loss on the uh, on a few of those prospects, man. We're really hoping to get couple of those four star safeties but no one no go so we'll see what we got all right if um you know the drill if you like the video like the video subscribe to the channel next week is memphis we only have about two or three games left before we go into championship week so we will probably knock those out pretty quickly hope you guys enjoyed the show or enjoy the the games um leave a comment if you uh I don't know if you got something to say love to chat with you guys in the comment section all right hope you have a good rest of your day this is pastor's game too god loves you and so do i and i will see you when i see you peace